Today we're going to look at solving algebraic equations by combining like terms first before you go about solving them. There are certain type of algebraic equations like the ones you're going to see here where you're going to have x's in more than one place. You have an x here, we got another x there, and what we need to do is we need to combine the like terms in this equation first before we actually go about solving it using the algebraic methods that we've talked about in the past. So the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out what our like terms are. So here we have a 5x in this equation, and we also have a 3x. And the 5x here is positive, and since it says plus 3x, it means that this 3x is also positive. So a positive 5x and a positive 3x together combine to make positive 8x. Now, we use this and we use that, so the only thing that's left on the left-hand side of the equation is the minus 2 equals 14. Now, now that we've combined our like terms, this is just like solving a regular two-step equation. We're always going to use our opposite operations and balance in order to solve. We're going to add 2 to both sides of the equation in order to cancel out the minus 2. We're left with 8x equals 14 plus 2, which is 16. And lastly, since we have 8 times x equals 16, we're going to do the opposite operation. The opposite of multiplying by 8 is dividing by 8. So we divide both sides of the equation by 8 in order to get x by itself, and we get that x equals 2. So remember, the most important thing is that very first step where we're combining the like terms. So why don't you press pause and give this example right here a try. Okay, now that you guys have tried this example, we're going to work through it together. So we're on the left-hand side, we have 9 equals 3 minus 4x plus 6x. So the first thing we have to ask ourselves is, what are our like terms? So we have a negative 4x and a positive 6x that we have to combine together first. So we're going to get 9 equals. I'm going to leave the 3 here. And then we negative 4x and positive 6x. Now, since one's negative, the other one's positive, this is sort of going to cancel each other out a little bit. And since the positive number is bigger, that's the one that's going to win out. So we know our final thing is going to be positive 2x. It's almost like subtracting from one another. Now this is again a regular two-step algebraic equation just like it was over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to get rid of the 3. Since it's positive, we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. We get 9 minus 3. That gives us 6 on the left-hand side and then with the 2x on the right-hand side. And then lastly, in order to solve, since it's 2 times x, we're going to divide both sides by 2 in order to get x alone by itself on one side of the equation. And what we're left with is 3 equals x, or x equals 3, depending on how you read it. Great job.